Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello friends, it's Debsy and the place to be, it's Debsy. That's me, Debsy. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and listen, before we get into it, I hope everybody's having a great day. I am having a fantastic week. First of all, it's Wednesday. We wear pink on Wednesday. So, I am so excited because today was my last day for the week, <laughs> for the week. Um, so I have a four day weekend. I'm off on Thursday and Friday. Hooray! Okay, so we're gonna get right into it. Guess what came today? It is the Universal Yums box. Ooh, Universal Yums. So any guess on where we're going today? Today we are headed, away we go. So today, away we go to India. Ooh, India. So we're going to India today. This, I'm gonna tell you, this box is heavy. Um, it was also looked like it was draw kicked from India, but it's pretty heavy, pretty substantial, substan substantial um, snacks today. So as always, when you open it up, you get your little map that tells you welcome to wherever you're going. It also lists some of the places in this in the country where your snacks are coming from. Flip it over, you have your scorecard. It also gives you a, a list of all the snacks in the order that they would like for you to try it in. You also get to rate three of them. I, I believe it's favorite yum, worst yum, weirdest yum. You also have a little thing over here about the yum shop. So if you like one thing that's in your box, they'll tell you in the yum shop where you can order a treat that's similar, sim similar in taste from another country. You have a little um, express yourself, different, way, different ways to say different things in that country's language. And also a scavenger hunt. Also, you get this book. This book is literally, is honestly one of my favorite parts because it's chock full of information uh, it tells you it tells you all about the snacks that you're getting, but you also have cute little things like the trivia train. They always give you a recipe. They um, pack it full of little games. Here's something about the spirituality of yoga. Also, the secret language of Bollywood. Um, they have all different kind of interesting facts and games. I think this, and this, this is one reason why I think that this would be a great subscription box for families, families with kids, because you're trying different food, you're getting your kids to try different things and they're learning. So I think it's a great box. So let's jump right in. And also you get this little, a little sticker. This one says, put your name in there, went to India and yums, spice up their life. So, ooh, okay. Here we go. So the first thing that they want us to start off with today, we are going to be trying mini lentil samosas. Now listen, so here they are. Okay. Now when I saw the samosas, of course, being a fan of, being a super fan of The Office, I immediately thought of when Michael went to Kelly's Diwali celebration and um, told his girlfriend, Nancy, that it was a costume party. So she went dressed as a, so she went dressed as a cheerleader. And he had tried what he thought was s'mores. And he spit it out and he said, this is terrible. How did you not know how to make s'mores? Well, it was samosas. So here we go, here we go, here we go. These are not really, these are supposed to be mini, but I don't know how big a regular samosa is. I almost called it a s'more. So there we go. Let's see, okay. Hmm. That is different. I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now, it is spicy. My mother will not try this. My mother will not be trying this. Okay, so these were not bad. These are very spicy. These are very spicy. 
they are they are a stuffed Indian snack with with moong lentils, cashews, and raisins. Um, with spicy lentils. So, I mean, these weren't bad. Um, they give you a lot in here. So this was. Um, these weren't bad. They were a little dry. They were pretty spicy. My mother will not try these, and I will not offer them to her because she will not. She will not like these. These were not bad. A little dry. Okay. Next up, we are doing the coconut flavored sugar cookie. It's delicate biscuits sprinkled with sugar. Well, that's good because. Well, that's good because I need something to. So here we go. They're nice. So let's try it. Oh, they're real thin. Okay, look at these cute little guys. Oh, nice. Mmm. Okay. I have little sugar crystals on them. Sugar sprinkled coconut cookies. These are nice. I like these. That's advertised. And they are nice. I like these. Mmm. I smell like they would make a good a good candle. Okay, next we have dark choco flavored sandwich cookies. It'll be as tastiest tea time treat. Okay, so let's find those. Oh, it's these. Okay. Now see, I looked at them, and what did I focus on? bourbon. I was like, oh, they're getting us bourbon cookies. But before you start pulling out the fancy whiskey glasses, bourbon is just the name of the cookie. These do not contain any alcohol. So I guess they had to put that there because, well, you know, people might be like, oh my God, I'm going to get drunk. But people who may be celebrating their sobriety or children who shouldn't be drinking. So there we go. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Those aren't bad. Hmm. Those are nice and light. It's a chocolate flavor. It's chocolate and chocolate, but it's not... Um, too rich and too like too sweet. Next, we're gonna go back down the spicy trail because we have Tika Marcella corn chips. Okay. Um, now you might not know that it is spicy, but then look at this little guy that they got here. This, they're gonna be hot. And it says spicy chips with tandoori seasoning. Okay, well, wait, I don't know why they have to make it so, okay, there we go. Make it so difficult for us Americans to get into here. Let's see if it smells spicy, it smells spicy. It spells, it, it spells, it smells spicy. I don't know about these. So let's try the biggest one then. Nope, I can tell. Let's just do it. Mm. Okay. Okay. Okay, there we go. Hold on. Okay, we are back. Okay, these started off being like, no, they're not spicy. They're not spicy at all. I can eat a whole bag of these. Don't, nope, nope. Do not let that fool you. These are spicy as hell. Now listen, I like... I like, I like some spice. 
I mean, I can handle some spice, but when it's real spicy and your nose runs, then that's not, to me, that's not like, and you're not able to enjoy the flavors at all. So I don't know how, how I feel about those. Okay, so next we are going to move into the yum bag. Yum bag, yum. But this one sounds kind of interesting. Creamy pistachio flavored candies. Indian ice cream, Indian ice cream cake candy. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Oh, okay, maybe it's not. So oh, here we go. Look at that. Okay, here's the back side. There, okay. So here we go. Let's see, is it the heart? No. Mmm. Mmm. That couldn't be a candle. Mmm. This is good. These are pretty good. Next, we're going back to the yum bag. We're going to caramel choco eclairs. These are hard. Yeah, I can I can see that right now. I don't know if I'm gonna be trying these. Inspired by cream caramel. Now, C-A-R-A-M-E-L. How do you say it? Because I say it caramel. I know a lot of people say it caramel. Caramel. I say it caramel. Okay. Nope. This is too hard. Oh. Mm-hmm. That's not bad. Okay, so next we are doing, oh, we're going back to this. We're going back to the yum box, the yum bag. We're having apricot, apricot flavored hard candies. These um, fruity, now these, I will try these later probably. Well, wait a minute, let's see. It doesn't smell apricot. Okay, that takes too long to suck on for me to get to the center, so that's what she said. <laughs> it didn't really even taste that that ap that ap that apricotty, so I don't know about that. Okay, next we are moving along to Sewn Pepti. It's these. This is a pretty big box. Okay, I don't know about this. Look at how this looks. Okay. I don't know about that smell. I don't know about that smell. We're gonna, we're gonna try it. We're gonna try a little. It's okay. Mm. Wait, look at it. Like, mm, do you see? I'm just gonna put that over there. Maybe it, no, that's gonna get me sick. Um, okay. You read that right. What you're eating right now is none other than cotton candy, but not the kind you're used to. But it's good. It says, while it shares the same melt in your mouth texture we all know and love, it also kicks things up a notch by adding chickpea flour, nuts and warm cardamom spice. I didn't like that. I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. I didn't like that one bit. Not at all. Not at all. All right, next we're gonna go with this. It is sweet and salty rice flakes. A tangy tea time tradition. 
And that's just a smell. What's this? What's this? What's this? Is that a nut? I mean, it's not the worst thing in here, but I don't know. It's called um, Kadamita. Sweet and salty mix of saga, sago and rice flakes. I have no idea what sago is. Much like I had no idea what meat larb, chicken larb was before. Okay, lastly, thank God, we have mixed nut butter cookies. Buttery biscuits fit for royalty. Okay, so this is almond and pistachio cookies. Okay, here we go. There we go. aren't bad they're pretty light they don't have a ton of flavor but in this box that's that's good because the flavors in this box some of them were not okay so there we go um will i be going to india to eat no i won't i i will not um the weirdest thing that i ate was probably the weirdest thing was this um the worst thing was this and the best thing was mm, it was a tie between the coconut cookies and the the coconut cookies and 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 these cookies so the cookies and then coming in third would have been that pistachio um, candy. So there we go. Okay, everybody. So I hope you enjoyed that trip to that gastrointestinal trip to India. Um, I will be, I will be, so I will be joining, I will be joining the ladies in Beverly Hills tonight at eight o'clock. Thank God. Yes. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be doing for my days off. I might try and do something fun, film it. So you guys can come along, get started, do, do a little bit more on that um, summer bucket list. And so remember, if I haven't told you yet today, which I have, um, you're loved, seen, and heard. And I love you. And please make sure to put love, kindness, compassion, acceptance, hope, and positivity out there because, listen, we all need it. Everybody needs it. So have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.